Hey guys, it's Nicola, and I'm here today um, in honor of St. Patrick's Day to introduce you guys to an awesome recipe um, using Shakeology, Greenberry Shakeology, that is very much so like the Shamrock Shake at McDonald's, but way better for you. I will tell you that I've seen this recipe before, and I have not tried it. This is the first time I'm making this recipe, and the first taste that you're going to see for me. I'm not going to lie, normally I am not a huge fan of greenberry. I love chocolate, but greenberry usually isn't my thing. So you're going to get to see my first reaction of my shamrock shake, and you're going to get to see if this is a recipe that makes me become a lover of greenberry. All right, here we go. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and tell you all about the ingredients that we're going to put into the shamrock shake now. Um, first of all, we're going to use one serving of Greenberry Shakeology. I've got my little travel packet here. Um, they, the Shakeology does also come in a book bag like that, um, which I have my chocolate in, or it comes in a packets, um, 24 packets, whereas the bulk bag is 30 servings. So pay for convenience, I suppose, but um, that's what I'm using today is my greenberry packet, and that is one serving in there. Um, so we'll use one of those. We're going to use one teaspoon of peanut butter. Um, for me, I'm going to use PB2. Uh, because I like that it's in powder form, it doesn't stick to my spoon, and it's lower calorie. After that, we're going to go ahead and include two tablespoons of fat-free, sugar-free cheesecake pudding. Um, obviously, just the powder, we're going to drop that in. Um, one cap of mint extract, peppermint extract, so that'll be good. And then... Um, we're going to also add one cup of either water or I like almond milk because it gives it a little bit more of a creaminess, so I'm going to use almond milk. And then um, we're also going to use just a little bit of vanilla. So I think that covers it. That's what we're going to put into our little shake. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and put it into the blender here, and I'll catch you back here in a couple minutes when the shake is done so you can see what I think. Alright, so now that I've got this all mixed up, um, I did add just a tiny little bit of water because it got pretty thick. Um, I added about two ounces of water. So I'm going to go ahead and you can see there's my beautiful shake. I know it's kind of scary because it's green, but since it's St. Patrick's Day, it kind of blends in. Um, I'm just going to put it in a little mixer cup. I do have Shakeology shaker cups um, that I use sometimes as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take this off of here and pour it in the cup. All right, so I've got it in my cup now. You can check it out. Um, this made a whole lot, so I hope I like it. Um, but here we go. I'm going to take my first taste of my Shakeology Shamrock Shake. Mmm, that's really good. And like I said, I don't normally like greenberry, but this is good. I like the mintiness, and you can just get that hint of peanut butter. Yeah, normally I get a little bit of an aftertaste with my greenberry. I don't get that with this recipe. So this is something that I do think that if I were to alternate between my chocolate and my greenberry um, bags instead of just getting chocolate all the time, this would be a recipe that I would definitely use on a regular basis, St. Patty's Day or not. So there you have it. This is my um, take on the greenberry Shakeology Shamrock Shake. Happy St. Patty's Day, everybody.